side. There's none of this turn out to press conference and not all that. I'm going to have the Christmas off and I'll sit down beside who I fight, when I fight. But at the minute, I'm on to bigger and better things. If the Eubank fight comes, it's got me for a lot of money and I'll take it, but my rules, not none of their bollocks, none of them, all that shit. Because they don't want to fight, they just want to talk about fighting for a long time, but they don't want to get in because they ain't got the balls to get in and fight. Now he wants to go and fight for the British. He wants to fight somebody who I beat in 2012. I'd rather give Nick Blackwell a shot and that and give him a shot. Why would you want to fight for the British title rather than fight for the world title? Well, he, said, listen, he said he's going for the WBA rules. So let him fight Blofkin rules. Well, he said he's going to go. Let him go on. If he beats Blofkin, then we'll have a big unification yeah. fight. That's, that's good, isn't it? But you could make, he could make Blofkin fight tomorrow. They're looking for opponents. He could make that in a half. But like I said before, if he makes that, if he makes that fight, they should make all his old man to the R as well. <laughs> On a personal level, is it a fight you'd like to have? Would you like to have it? Listen, I've been there and done it. I've been there, I've been there and I've done it. Um, I've been there and done it, I've beaten him. Listen, obviously that, if the money's right, put a blindfold on me, get myself in the same condition as not my beat. You know, if he thinks that I'm just going to sit there and, and if he thinks he can start fast, same will happen to him, what happened tonight, you get caught early. I mean, let's shake him good But let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. I've always, never ever done my diet 100% right. You bank fight, I had a dietitian. A bodybuilding dietitian. Didn't suit me body. This time, I had a proper fancy tap about an MGM, a proper dietitian. Eating three and four times a day, strong, finishing strong, starting mid rounds. This time, different story. Big, different story. And you know, you are what you eat, and uh, I've learned that now, and I've got to grow as a world champion, move on to bigger and better things. Do you, do you think that is a big difference for um, more boxers now coming through in the Shaveler community? That, that Because Tyson Fury did it in the summer, shed four and a half stone, and he looked a different animal in the ring. Is, is there a change in the Shaveler community in the way the boxers are? Gareth, let me tell you, I used to live like a fat pig, yeah? I'm not going to lie. Cut weight, do everything. I'm sure Jimmy... Junk food. Listen, me and Jimmy's license is the guy that told you. Listen, the hate Jimmy's fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. I'm a man for myself. It's my fault. Nobody else is. But I got dragged away to camp. I got to sit down. I got the right man. I've done it wrong in my life. I know what this meant to me tonight. And I know how I've got to do it now. To defend that, it's got to take a good man to take that away from me. You know? did, did Jimmy read the riot attack to you about getting your body in the right shape? Listen, Jimmy, Jimmy's uh, he's very calm about his, his business, Jimmy. You know, people, because he don't say much, people underestimate his tactics, people underestimate what he does. But, you know, I would love to do it. You know, me and Jimmy and Mark, I couldn't do it without these two because what, what you don't realise, they've come away with me working on like, up there. Every morning, Jimmy knocking me out at six in the morning. I feel like eating him in the end of the lamp sometimes. <laughs> Mark got me on the track, but I was strangling him sometimes. You know what I mean? But I knew it's me own good. So, I know if I listen to someone like Jimmy on my team, and Mark, I can't go wrong. You know, if I listen to people who's been there and done it, and I learn off people's mistakes, you know, I can only go bigger and better. And was that wise counsel as the rounds counted down tonight as well? Yeah, listen, Jimmy, Jimmy told me, so what he was telling me, he was looking to keep calm, get low, make him miss, get first with a jab, get underneath him. Funny enough, like the Wayne Nesty, you said as well, Frank, get underneath. Oh, but I knew that. but. You know, people underestimate the jab, it's a very, very good jab. And he's, listen, Andy's got a lot of reach in the you know I mean? At times, I was out jabbing. You know, at times, I was out jabbing. Um, and, you know, the puncher got revealed tonight. You know, he's turned around a bit, so. And how does it feel? Is it sinking you? Do you know what? It's, I can't believe it, you know what I mean? I'm world champ, I'm world champion. But, uh, listen, I can't say enough thank yous to everybody. Again, Andy Lee. You know, I've got to take me out of him. It's a pleasure to work with him. It's a pleasure to work with him. Um, no problems. Only, you know, I'll make you laugh sitting in the dressing room. There was a complaint about uh, fumes, Frank. Generator, uh, petrol fumes. Generator was near Ringwalk. And both complained about generator. And he lives with generators. We live in caravans. That's why he was complaining about that. Perhaps that was while I'm not down. Well, I'm not from down. The fumes are Jimmy, yeah, what was my advantage? Who do you think is the best, best of the other middleweights? Me? Yeah. I've got the WBO weight. Of the other middleweights? 
listen, Golovkin obviously is the man of the moment. But listen, I'm world champion. I might say no, listen, let Golovkin come down, sit down with Frank Ryan, put the money on the table, and let's do business. Listen, I provide for my family, I've got two sons. Um, you know, it's, it's about, I'm just having a rest at the minute, like I said, he's not guiding me wrong to fur, I trust him, I trust him on my boxing career to the end. I'll put it in his hands, whatever he says to me, if he picks up the phone to me next week, so I've got this, got that, he sits down with Daniel and that, I'll say Frank, let's go. Jimmy, I was just going to ask if a lot, something was made of the the contest between you and uh, Lee's trainer, Ella Booch. Do you feel a real sense of satisfaction about how you set about this fight tonight, tactically? Well, well you know, was, yeah, that was the tactics to, uh, to our, our boxing. I mean, he's a great boxer, Joe, so do what you're good at. And if you get lucky, which he did with a rival, two good knockdowns, that sort of like, so did that, as, as Andy Lee said. Were you surprised by them fighting your fight? No, we knew he'd be looking for the bigger, which he was threatening all the time. I thought he was weary. I thought watching Andy in the fight, I thought he was standing off a bit. And I think you know, because you were just in and the And Andy's yeah. tactics was to keep me long and outbox me. Keep me long. But I knew I, I knew I was faster. I, I knew I could keep him to the jab. And push him back. And then in the end, Jimmy. If you watch the fight, if Joe's moving his top off, Andy Lee misses or he doesn't go. <coughs> as soon as you stop moving then, then he lets it go. And he, he gets through because of his long reach. Yeah. So when he did it's hard to do it for 12 rounds. But to win, he had to do it. He won't run up. He's done hard. He kept doing that all the time. He ran away with points. And did you think speed was a difference? Yeah, yeah younger. The speed. Yeah. You're right. a split second faster. Most the brain and younger. He's a big fighter, Joe. He's a big fighter, Joe. He's a big fighter, Joe. Frank, the one thing fights calling people out on Twitter, but has anyone actually phoned you up since the fight and said, let's, let's make it? I've got a, a, a text of the up from Burp Bomb. Thank you, I've got a lot of people saying, well done, Merry Christmas. Couldn't get a call with me, because you can't make a Tyson Fury fight. I might have a drink. And then we think it's a good thing about this fight for me. To get out and show to them. One other show tonight, we tag them onto their show out there, we'll get the bill out there, let the people see. And that's the name of that. You know, so it's, uh, it's been a great ending here for us. We've had a let down a bit this year, a couple of fights that we thought we made, which is Bill fighting the Umax rematch, we got let down with that. Uh, Tyson, no problem with that one. It works out well. We all know we have to do Liam and I tonight. Actually, better performance in any good performance. And uh, we've got Terry Flanagan, so we've had a good opening. So, what do you think about Golovkin? Yeah, is that a realistic thing? Listen, Golovkin is the man, and you've got to take out of him. He's doing everything he should be. He's beating people in the style. Um, he's a very good fighter, Golovkin. You've got to give him 10 out of 10. Fire of the year, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, he's well, well, class, obviously. Man, but listen, <coughs> I think that he's looking for he's struggling for opponents. I know he wants to clear up the winner of the titles, but you know, I've got to do what's best for my career. And I think Golovkin, realistically, I ain't even on to play for that one. Just compensate for not winning the Olympic gold medal. Do you know what? The Olympics today in my hotel room, I sat down and I thought, I thought back to when I was in the Olympic Games. And I remember the day I got beat, and I thought, I don't want that feeling again because it was a bad feeling, very bad. But I was young, stupid. I beat the Cuban who beat me, and he went on to win silver, and he, he cut me like a knife. And I, it does every night, and I think about it, and I think, I'll kick myself. And in my bedroom tonight, I thought, I don't want that feeling again. I'll go out there because I know, I knew what I was going to be. I thought it would be the same feeling. I fell twice. So I was determined, determined not to do it. And, you know, listen. I'm the happiest man in the world right now, I'm world champion, middleweight world champion, still on second one. But, uh, see, that was the point. Can we let that man get up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well